Good morning. I woke up to about $3,500 in credit card fraud. My day just started off kind of frustrating. It's so frustrating. I don't even understand. Like, one, it's frustrating. I can't even buy a pair of socks off of Adidas.com without getting a fraud alert. I'm, I'm anywhere. I get my card blocked. They tell me I can't spend it. I have to call. Get it all sorted out, even when I'm trying to buy some. But somebody in Maryland decided that they were going to buy, like, you know, $4,000 worth of computer equipment, and the charges just go straight through. And I get my money back, get a new card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, frustrating morning, and no matter how hard I try to clear my head and say, hey, the money is going to come back. You don't gotta worry about it. I still get fucking frustrated. So that's how my morning started. I gotta get ready for this drop. Earn's on his way over. Then I gotta go to the shop and tattoo. Omar's being crazy. He keeps trying to chew up my wallet every time I put it somewhere. Even if I get on the phone for a second, he's off. Runs off of my wallet. Everybody's trying to rob me, man. Crazy. What is it? Hey, drop it. First off, there's a blunt on the ground. Second off, what is this? We've moved on to extra laces. No, you're not supposed to eat this stuff. I don't even know where you found this. What else is out here? An insult? This is just like where you move all your toys to. Toy. I broke them in and I actually washed them. I ran them through the washing machine. Really? Yeah. That makes sense. It says you should start your own vlog. I know, I see that in the comments. And I love it. I'm not know, gonna. Some but people what kind of watch you have. Oh, it's just, it's an MVMT, dude. What blazing hottie gave you that watch? <laughs> Brandy. It's rose gold. Rose gold. That's my wedding ring. Rose, rose gold on me. <laughs> it stopped recording automatically. I gotta get it. It's amazing. Just swings down. Just... Drops over. Um... A lot of shirts sold out. Still towels left right now. There's only 150 in the world. There you go. Go to the tattoo shop. Is everything the way it needs to be in here? How about yesterday I was walking out to walk Omar and I guess my ring dropped off my finger and I didn't notice it. Outside with Omar and then my neighbor came down stairs with her dog. She's like, did you lose a ring? Is it gold? She's like, yeah. She's like, I had a T on it? She's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I did actually, I guess. Just turned it in at the office. She's like, I thought it might be yours, but I just saw it shining in the hallway. I was like, fuck. I'm destined to lose this shit, man. Like. Is that a dog? That's gotta be a dog. How's your guy doing? He's big? Good, yeah, he's getting pretty big. I don't understand Vegas. You thought my avocado fell out of a tree? Yeah. <laughs> He'd be enchanted. Yeah. You know, the, lack of, the lack of enchantment is why I don't like things. That'd be enchanting. It's true. If it ain't enchanting, it ain't shit. You need to go to Disney World. Alright. I tried tweeted at Disney today to hire me. Because they fired Jake Paul. So I was like, since y'all fired Jake Paul. You know, we always talk. Could you imagine if I got a Disney show? I could be the next Blue's Clues, man. I don't even, I never even seen an episode of Blue's Clues, but I'm down. I remember, like, I think everybody said that guy, like, died of, like, a heroin overdose or no, something. he just quit. He quit because, I think I read somewhere that he quit because he was getting bald. No. Yeah, that might not be true, though. I might be making that shit up. I just remember for years thinking he was, like, dead of a heroin overdose, and then, like, he, like, just showed up in a random interview, like, a few months back, and I was like, wait, isn't this guy dead for 10 years? Yeah. No. No. I'm spending that Blue's Clues money in silence. Yeah, seriously. He's out of the club. He's like, what's up, girl? <laughs> I know you. Yeah, you know me. I'm that Blue's Clues motherfucker. Yeah. Trying to smash or what? What's <laughs> up? I got a penthouse downtown LA. Blue's Clues memorabilia everywhere. <laughs> Let me show you my Blue's Clues packs. My p packs, plaques. Yeah, this episode went platinum where we did ABCs. Yeah, they, say, they say I changed the ABCs forever. Good. We had the ABCs and then... <laughs> 
Starting that Blues Clues episode dropped. Someone's the same ever since. <laughs> Assuming that's what Blues Clues is even about. I don't right? know. It's I don't know if they actually do the alphabet. They gotta be that's like, like Sesame Street. Blues Clues, I think it's like a mystery. Wow. Well, yeah, maybe. Star Wars collars look great, though. <laughs> what did Brandy say? <laughs> she was just like, what? Like, first Rust is running around, and she doesn't even see my end. She goes, what the fuck is that on his neck? And I was like, that's his new collar. It's like... Oh, Star Wars, okay. <laughs> Maya like comes trotting out. I'm like, and she's got the dark side. <laughs> like how like, you what? gave Rusty the light side and yeah. Maya the dark side. It's well she's black, you Whoa. know. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Darth Vader in this dog game, and I think to other dogs, yeah. Well, they don't really know much about Star Wars, but if they did understand, they'd see the collar and they'd be like, "Oh, I'm not fucking with yeah, that." Yeah, I'm not fucking with the Sith dog, all black colorway. Yeah, <clears throat> Campus Liquor. It's always funny when places have the name Campus in them. Yeah. Well, like Campus Liquor, like in Campus, Northern you Miami, think of school. Yeah. South it's like here's your school liquor store. <laughs> yeah. We'll go to school to drink. I feel like. I know, but I mean, I went to go to school literally just because I thought I had to to get away from my parents. I didn't realize like upstate New York, another four or five hours was just as far away, and I could have gone for like three thousand a year. Yeah. You ain't trying to hear that shit though when you're young. I know. <laughs> I went to school for three days. Nice. And someone said something stupid in class and I picked up my books and fucking left and then went to the tattoo shop and started learning how to tattoo. Nothing. My mom begged me just to go. I didn't want to. She's like, please just just give it an effort. And I was like, all right. And then I <laughs> I went and then, yeah, it was like, I can still get a refund on my textbooks right now. I'm out of here. Got a credit card as soon as I got on campus because they're out there just giving out credit cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I got a credit card and I got my money back for the, the, uh, books That's and I just amazing. lived off of that for like two or three months and then didn't tell anybody I had quit school until like after the money ran out. What you wanted to do what about that? Yeah, I mean my <laughs> my whole thing I thought I just regret I don't know. I don't want to say regret school, but it. I went because I thought I had to go. My well, it's a little life, bit of a I false. It's go. a false promise. Like for some people, it works out. Like if you're like, I want to be a doctor, I want to be this. I need to, you know, you kind of have to play the game and buy your ticket, yeah. so to speak. But, you, but, how but many if you don't know, know what you're gonna do, and you don't like, and you're just like going to school because everyone tells you that's the next step, like yeah. getting married. Like people, people always leave in the comments like, shouldn't this guy have a wife and kids by now? I'm like, well, if I fucking wanted one, yeah. <laughs> Sure, yeah. <laughs> could have my pick, but that's not the point. You know? It's just people get into these like patterns, and society is so fucking pressurized. Yeah, that's what it is, and know? I don't yeah. even blame my parents. Like I think my parents were pre my They're parents all in their yeah, head. Be. Like if you step out of line, in a line, like if you're in a line and you step out of the line and you stand to the side of it, you're fucking you're you're standing out. You know what I mean? And people see that and then they comment on it. Favor to that guy. Yeah, and they make you feel weird. Like what are you doing out of line? Don't get out of line. It's the same shit. But, Damn, bro. Did you see her? You, you know, see that blazing hottie back there? My eyes are focused <laughs> on the brush. <laughs> Ready? Yes. <laughs> She'll do a spin for a circle. And stand. Yes, good man. Look at you. <laughs> Off. Dog catch. <laughs> Dog catch. <laughs> Press through. <laughs> Roll over. Yes. <laughs> good girl. Off. Pop. Yes, good girl. Nice. Off. Yeah. Do I need to do a collection video a collection? real quick? Uh, <laughs> got these on feet. I got hacked last night for $3,500. What? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, boosted. Yeah, we boosted it all right. It's like ghost green. Peanut butter and jellyfish, dude. Damn, look at these colorways. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. Oh, you're tattooing right there? Yeah. Oh, you switched it up? Yeah. Derek, I'm tattooing here now. So I'm going to need another setup. You don't mind.
Who's this baby? See what's in this box. That's what you're sticking around for. For real. Is it? No, it's the U's, it's the tennis U's. Hughes Tennis U with love from Pharrell and Adidas Entertainer or Entertainment and Influencer Marketing. Take a look at the shoes. Thanks, Pharrell. Got them green tea vibes, dog. It's like a seesaw shirt. So, thank you. Look at this picture of us from New York City. You were there. I was there. We were cold. I remember that guy. Nice. So yeah, here is the blue and pink and gray colorway. So this is what the shoe looks like. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, so, okay, so we've reviewed one of these before. Uh, to be honest, they're not my favorite model as far as shoes go. I really do like the PK upper on it, but the, again, everyone knows lack of boost for me is kind of a deal breaker as far as everyday wear. Something I would throw on just to go down to the pool or go do something just for a few minutes. Not something I wear all day. Definitely a casual, casual shoe. So all PK upper that is gray, blue, and pink. There's not really a lot of peppering going in as much as there is breezing. I'd say this is breezed in, so you have like a nice little breeze pattern all throughout. I don't know if you're gonna call, people are gonna see different colors. It's almost, it looks like the slate blue, but it's also gray, like this is gray. So I'm going with gray laces. It's really hard to really tell the actual color, but it looks like slate bluish, but I'm gonna go with gray. You have a leather gray Adidas tongue tab with human race branding and Adidas originals branding, gray laces. And then the sole of the shoe is just a regular, I guess, tennis tennis shoe, tennis hue sole. Nothing continental, nothing like that. I'm again, casual wear, not a runner or anything like that, so you really don't need that type of sole. I believe the last time that I talked about Pharrell's, I said the insole did not come out, which is untrue. The uh, untrue, not true, the insole does come out. This one is solar yellow. Back of the shoe has the Pharrell Williams branding, and then this little tab back here is a different material. I don't know what this is, but it's like a really soft and kind of like plushy material. I don't know if plushy is the right word. I don't even know if plushy is a word. Um, the insole itself has all the organs basically listed on it, just like the uh, human race trail and MDs do. Well, just like the human race in general do. Uh, I'm assuming the trail and MDs have it. I don't have those yet, but for those who are asking, yes, I'm absolutely gonna get all four colorways, I'm sure. There's a little three, like subtle three stripe branding here on the sides, I believe, these little three punch holes and they kind of make the three stripes I don't even know if you can see that but that I don't know if that's supposed to be I don't know if you can like lace through that or what I guess you probably could but I don't know if it's actually meant to be laced through but the lacing system in itself in the shoe doesn't even go into the shoe it's just these kind of fabric pieces that intertwine underneath so it's definitely an interesting thing um, and then underneath where this lacing system sits inside the shoe there is a reinforcement I don't think you can really see it. There is a reinforcement behind the shoelaces um, before you get into the bottom where you get like pure PK feeling. Um, as far as fit goes, so they're, they're, they're oddly shaped shoes. So it's just like the human races. People are gonna want to size down on the shoe because of the gap you get in your toe. It's a long and skinny shoe. I've said it before, I just feel like Pharrell's probably got long and skinny feet and if they're designed as like a pro model, then that's probably why they look the way they do and fit the way they do. So for me, I have to go true to size 13 is all I could wear is because of the narrowness of the shoe, but there's definitely room in my toes, probably even a good size. It's kind of a strange fit, but nonetheless, there's, you know, with the extra toe room, they don't bother me, but I'm also not wearing them all day, and it's not something that I wear like super often. Take it for what it's worth. 
Uh, yeah, but shout out to Pharrell and everyone in the team at BBC and my man at Private Label, everyone that makes this happen, getting me these shoes. I really do appreciate the look. It's, it's very much appreciated um, just to be recognized for all the work. I will take care of the gift and add it to the collection. But, yeah. Colorways go, I definitely prefer this colorway over just the plain white colorway. Definitely summertime shoe. Another colorway that's going around the internet that kind of looks like the multicolor from the Ronnie's. And uh, that colorway is really nice too. I'm not going to go out of my way and buy them because, you know, I, I'm just, I'm, that colorway is probably my favorite of any of them that have come out. There's also why I'm really looking forward to the Trail NMD because of the patterns of the PK and the colors all seem cool. And I really like the Trail Boost on the Tidalos. I'm down. This is the uh, Pharrell Tennis. Hugh, the color on the shoe is so hard to get, I feel like.